All right, guys, I'm going to be brief today. A lot of you have seen this knife right here in other videos. That's the LT Right Genesis in flat grind. It's a 3V model with no liners. Love the knife. Use it every single day in the kitchen. It's extremely sharp. It holds its own really for a flat grind in the woods. The knife takes huge chunks. It does really, really well. I think it performs more like a saber or a convex, but it is a true flat grind with a, with a V at the bottom. Pretty much kept it factory. I love this knife. And uh, people have been asking, is it worth it, the difference between the linerless model and the model that has liners? And I want to talk about that real quick. So here is a 3V Genesis orange G10. So definitely haven't lost this one. And this model has the black liners in there. And so there's a little bit of a price difference there. These are custom knives. If you're not familiar with LT Right, these are uh, customizable and, and uh, you know, kind of made on a bigger scale now. Okay, but this, this very much so is going to be above the price point of most of your knives. Even in 3V, you're going to pay more. This is a premium. And people want to know, is the thickness different? For some people, it's a, it's a looks thing. For me, it's a function thing. With this knife right here, see if I can take off a full inch of wood. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this thing is a monster now. I really, really like this knife. Uh, now, the Scandi difference, obviously, it's better at woodworking, okay? The other one is really my food and uh, maybe a little bit of whittling or campsite craft. This is definitely more dedicated for woods work for me. It's also 3V. It does great in winter. But the, the main difference is that thickness. So the handle thickness difference between the two of them is about a tenth. But also, these handle scales extend a little bit longer and closer to where that edge starts. And that, for me, is a big deal. So, you know, it may even only be an eighth of an inch or something, but it's more comfortable. When I grip that, okay, this is one of the best I've ever put in my hand, the knife handle. It's one of the best. So many companies have these weak wimpy handles that are terrible and they're advertised as outdoor knives but they're just for very small hands they're trying to collect as many customers as they can from a, a wide swath of the market and these knives are more you know they're, they're more catering towards people with bigger hands is what i would suppose but i would say people with even average size hands they would just find this is what a knife is supposed to feel like. So I have micarta here and I have G10 here. I'll tell you, the micarta, I, I like the texture better. But the G10, I don't regret. I really like both of them. I just know people are going to ask about that. With these knives, though, for being a big guy with XL size hands, you know, I get so sick of tiny knife handles. I won't carry any folding knife now other than cold steel because the only company that really makes knife handles appropriately for big guys. And so even XXL size hands will fit those so I, I really prefer that obviously I have a thing for orange I prefer that and this is so good and when I saw that they had liners that made it you know that tenth thicker the difference now is when I hold it my fingers don't bind up tight into my palm especially if I choke up on the knife they're just barely touching and they don't they don't bind up in there that matters okay this just a smidgen more still pretty good okay still pretty good but with this model it is phenomenal. The best I've ever put in my hand that wasn't created by me. A lot of my own knives that I make are rat tail tang, uh, rat tail tang knives. And those, obviously, I customize exactly how I want for carving and whittling. But I really wanted something in 3V, and I can't temper 3V. So this right here did it for me. This is probably the best knife I've ever put in my hand for comfort and for utility out in the woods. Uh, I think I, I kind of ruined the rest of my knives for myself. You know, I love using knives like... The Mora Consul. It's a great handle. It's very comfortable. Uh, the steel is maybe not quite as impressive, but you know it contours so thin down here because they're trying to get a wide swath of the market to like this knife and appeal to them. That leaves out people like me with big hands. And so I'm just going to comment and let you guys know who are asking questions about that. Yes, it's worth it. It's you know it's probably a 20 buck difference to get the liners. And some people would say, well, that doesn't cost them 20 bucks. No, you're right. It probably doesn't. It's probably very affordable for them. But for you, uh, when you get to these, you know, really high-end knives, these are very high-end, okay? The quality control and the performance, the comfort, for me, it was worth it. So I'm selling off a good handful of the rest of the knives that I've been using, my outdoor blades, because these cover, you know, food and outdoor woodswork, campcraft. This is really it, and they're comfortable, and they fit 
for me, a big guy. So just my two cents, I thought I'd throw that in there. There will be a review coming for this one and a comparison against the flat grind. I know a couple other channels have done something similar, but I just wanted to show you what my experience was. And I think you guys will appreciate it, and it'll probably tempt you to buy one of these if you can find one in stock.